We can't control what our kids drink or what they watch. They're your kids. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest moments from South Park's Not Suitable for Children special. Hey, Jordan, we're having a meeting today. You can't come. Number 10, The Cred Song. The energy drink cred has taken South Park Elementary by storm. Because it's the new cool thing to have in school, Cartman naturally has to sing a song about it. I got cred, bitches. I got cred. I got cred, bitches. I got cred. Albeit brief, the sound of children singing the chorus adds another fun element to it all. We got cred, bitches. We got cred. Our teeth are blue, bitches. Our tongues are red. Even Clyde gets a chance to sing his own rendition of the tune, and his dry delivery makes for a fun listen. I've got cred, bitches. I've got cred. I've got cred, bitches. I've got cred. Too bad the whole moment is completely ruined after it's discovered that his cred drink is nothing more than just apple juice in an empty cred bottle. Number 9. The Influencer Meeting Looking to increase his fame as an influencer, Randy seeks out an agent. When Randy outlines his purpose behind this objective, the agent can't help but be shocked. Well, what I really want to do is beat my wife. You want to beat your wife? What he doesn't realize is that what Randy meant was that he wanted to have a larger social media presence than his wife. Randy, of course, doesn't take the time to clarify. Despite the misinterpretation, the meeting continues. He also emphasizes his content isn't for children, and the agent plays along, believing he's acting sarcastically. Right. I mean, the data shows kids aren't the main audience for any of this stuff, right? The poor miscommunication on Randy's end is just another reason why he is a fan favorite. Wow! Number 8. FBI and Assassin Standoff Game is up, scumbag! Normally, standoffs between a criminal and law enforcement, whether fictional or in reality, are shaped by the drama and tenseness of the moment. This confrontation, however, was anything but. Shortly after taking out influencer Logan LaDouche, the assailant in question is surrounded by the FBI. The data shows that consumers of social media platforms are predominantly adults over 21. Oh, come on! Within tech companies, it's an open secret that millions of users are actually under the age of 13. What ensues is a light debate between both parties on which demographics predominantly consume social media content and the ethics behind it all. It all concludes with one cheesy line that is said so unenthusiastically by the assassin that one can't help but laugh. Okay, well, you'll never take me alive, copper. The only thing funnier than this debate was the reveal of who the culprit was all along. <laughs> Number 7. The Influencer Auction Ever wonder how sponsors get in touch with influencers? Well, South Park gives us their own wacky and unbelievable take on this. Ready to get some sponsors, Randy is sent to a location that, unbeknownst to him, is holding an auction, where influencers are quite literally auctioned off. From China to toy company Mattel, countries and companies alike bid on these influencers. In true South Park fashion, even the auctioneer is lampooned, as he speaks way too fast. And when it's Randy's turn to be auctioned off, no one puts an offer in. Fortunately, the humiliation is short-lived. All right, we got him. Hands behind your back. Me? I didn't do anything. I'm just trying to beat my wife. Number six, the cred massacre. The boys arrive in Pueblo to get their hands on the latest cred flavor, only to be greeted by a herd of children also ready to buy some as well. Oh my God. We yeah. want cred! We want cred! Even before the store opens, the children are restless. And once the doors do finally open, the children barge in. In a scene mirroring something straight out of an apocalyptic thriller film, it's everyone for themselves as they struggle and put their lives on the line to get a bottle of cred. We can't decide whether to either gasp or laugh at how seriously the children take this and the subsequent aftermath. Spencer? Start the car! Start the car! Without any cred, pun partially intended, the boys handle this like it's the end of the world. Literally. There's nothing! Just two more broken cred bottles! And a couple of cans of SpaghettiOs. Number 5. Randy's First Attempt at OnlyFans When we saw Randy's reaction at how much South Park Elementary's art teacher makes a week from OnlyFans, we knew it was only a matter of time before the inevitable. We find the geologist now turned weed farmer trying his hand at being an OnlyFans model. It's uncomfortable, awkward, yet hilarious all at once. 
and just when the moment can't get any funnier, Sharon walks in on Randy, and her reaction says it all. What the f are oh, you hey, doing? Oh, hey, Sharon, I'm just supplementing my income. As with every conversation Sharon has with her husband after he develops a new obsession, her warnings fall on deaf ears, and we know chaos is bound to ensue. Number 4. News Reporter Fakeout Randy and Sharon aren't the only ones on OnlyFans. At a CVS in Pueblo where the latest flavor of cred will be made available, a reporter is live on the scene. Tom, I'm standing outside the CVS in Pueblo where thousands of children have shown up to get some cred. Only he's not actually a reporter. Nor does he work for a news network. As we slowly zoom out of the frame, we learn that the man is, of course, a creator merely reporting on the event live on his OnlyFans. The sensual music transition is also a nice added touch, making the fake out all the more hilarious. Number 3. A Conversation with the Parents The only person at school who's without any cred is Clyde. He's concerned, and so are his parents, but not for the same reason. Uh, hey Clyde, why don't you come over here and have a seat? When Clyde sits down with his parents, everyone thinks they're on the same page. But the audience knows this is not the case. We know that some of the stuff you're dealing with might be kind of disturbing. Yes, it's totally disturbing, yes! The inevitable occurs, and the realization that both parties are talking about completely different things entirely occurs when Clyde's father says this. Let me explain to you what double penetration is. His father was of course referencing the art teacher being on OnlyFans, but how could Clyde know that? Talk about a terrible yet hilarious segue. Number 2. Randy Makes a Cooking Video Hey guys, it's your boy Randy, and in this video we're doing authentic pad thai for under $6. Randy's back at it on OnlyFans, only this time around, things seem to be tame for once. The audience is greeted by what looks like a cooking video, as Randy reveals the ingredients he'll be using to make what he calls an authentic pad thai. As he introduces each ingredient one by one, everything seems normal. Until it's not, and the punchline slash final ingredient is revealed. We can't show it, but he refers to it as fresh nuts. Since he's making this for OnlyFans, we'll leave it to you to decide what that means. This stuff takes time! You don't just put up a page and immediately get followers. You have to support it with other social media. Have a craft to teach! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Minors Randy is apprehended by the FBI, but it's only when his wife comes to his rescue that he soon realizes the consequences of his actions. An FBI rep informs him that minors are beginning to post the same type of content that he and other influencers publish on OnlyFans. But the minor he's talking about is spelled with an E. I warn you, what you are about to see is extremely disturbing. To illustrate what he means, and so that viewers ultimately get in on the gag, Randy is shown a photo montage of several minors revealing their manhood. Only it's clearly photoshopped considering how vintage the images look. This special is full of double entendres. But this one might just take the cake. Oh god. Ah. Will you become an OnlyFans model after watching the Not Suitable for Children special? Let us know in the comments. All you have to do is ask yourself, who is it that wants to influence me the most? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.